welcome back to my channel and in today's video as you guys can tell from the title of it I'll be sharing with you guys the things that I have been loving and enjoying during the month of June I know this is a little late than usual but I was traveling I was in New York and then I was jet lagged for a bit but now I'm here finally I'm sitting down and I'm ready to share my favorites I just did like an insta live where I was just getting ready and answering some questions as well as doing lives with with you guys and I had a blast so I do want to do more Instagram lives so if you're interested in that please follow me on Instagram at Joan Kim and then yeah stay tuned for random insta lives all right let's get started I normally start with beauty but I haven't really changed up my skincare routine it's just been a lot of drunk elephants so if you're curious about the drunk elephant products that I have been using click up there to watch my full-on review on all the drunk elephant products that I own but I have been trying new products so maybe in my next one I'll be sharing those uh, but first I wanted to talk about these products right here and they're makeup primers with SPF and they're so convenient because you don't have to layer a primer and a sunscreen you just have it all in one product so this has been amazing because it's getting really hot and humid in Korea right now and I just like to use minimal products I don't want to layer up because if it's hot outside I don't want to feel uncomfortable and sometimes the products doesn't mix well with the weather outside so I don't know I've just been loving these two right here this is the Giorgio Armani and the Laura Mercier um, great primer SPFs that I would highly recommend for those of you guys who are living under the hot humid weather and also for those of you guys who don't like using a lot of products especially before foundation um, these are great the next beauty related thing I wanted to talk about is my tattoo right here and it is a small tulip. I've been planning on getting this tulip for some time now and I finally had the courage to do so and I contacted Playground Tattoo. He is very famous in Korea because he's done tattoos for Hyorin of Sistar, Taeyeon from Girls' Generation and a lot more celebrities. So I wanted my first tattoo to be done by a professional who is well known in Korea. This was really expensive. It was a hundred dollars but it's on my body forever now so I wanted it done by someone who is experienced and yeah I really like this design I've been receiving a lot of questions about the meaning of my tattoo and it does have a meaning so for those of you guys who are curious I'll be linking a website that kind of breaks down what tulip stands for if you guys are interested I have three bags that I have been obsessed with and first we have the Mazon Kisune and 3CE collaboration tote bag and this was about $30 and it came with a makeup pouch inside and I would say it's worth the price because Mazon Kisune is a very expensive brand and for a tote bag from there to be like $30 that's really affordable and it's in collaboration with 3CE which is one of my favorite makeup brands but yeah tote bags are super comfortable because it fits a lot so both my vlogging cameras for sure my wallets my makeup bag you name it it fits everything even my laptop Next we have the A Cold Wall waist bag, belt bag, fanny pack, whatever you want to call this. A Cold Wall is one of my favorite streetwear brands as of late. I just really like how unique their pieces are, even though I know for a fact that I wouldn't be able to pull off some of their clothes. Um, I really like their accessories. I actually bought, I think, three A Cold Wall bags in the month of June, and this is my favorite because mainly because it fits both my vlogging cameras and I really like how it's on me so I don't have to reach down in my crossbodies or my tote bags I could just like unzip and pick whatever I need and then it's just very convenient my brother also ordered the supreme waist bag as well so now I have two of these and yeah I can see myself wearing these a lot during the month of July and August as well the final bag I have is the PVC the transparent bag I actually ordered this on yesterday style and the reason why I like it is because it came with a pouch as well as this little like open pouch as well so you can basically customize it to your liking and it comes in different colors so check the website and see what other colors they have if you are interested in picking this up if you guys would like to see a what's in my transparent bag video please comment down below because I think that will be fun to show you guys how I customize it but yes I am obsessed and I really like how trendy it is 
Next, I have two pairs of shoes. And first, I feel like this is an obvious one, but are these silver flats. I have been wearing these nonstop in a lot of my Instagram photos, as well as my Joan Day vlogs. Um, silver shoes in general, I have been obsessed with, but these are so comfortable. Um, I bought these at Bloomingdale's. They're originally, I think, $550 or $600, but they were on sale for like $200, so I just had to get them because they were my size and it just, it was just meant to be. At first, these rings were very uncomfortable, but I got used to it and now they're seriously the most comfortable shoes ever. So I'm not sure if they still have the silver ones available, but they also have this in black, red, a mix of black and white, and other colors. The second pair are these Stella McCartney boots and they're really heavy and they look very extra but they're also very comfortable. So Angela's friend Jelena was wearing them and I was like, where did you get your shoes? It screams black pink and I love shoes that give me height because I'm not very tall. And she got really excited and she was basically telling me that they're on super sale right now. They're Stella McCartney and they're originally a thousand dollars. They were on sale for like 250 or 300 dollars so I just had to buy them. So I got them on essence.com so I'm not sure if they still have it but um, if they do I'll link it down below as well. I have a book favorite and it is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F by Mark Manson. A lot of you guys actually recommended this one to me. Uh, Rosie of Blackpink was, I think she had it on her bookshelf in an episode for Blackpink TV and this book is on the wall of like bestsellers at every bookstore in Korea right now and I bought it here and then I bought it again in America because I forgot to take it with me and I finished reading this on the airplane and it was such a quick read and I really liked it. It's basically like as the title says, it kind of helps you think of what actually matters to you most and it was really great. I loved the advices and examples that Manson showed um, and I would highly recommend it. I'll just say it now, I know I get negative comments in my videos and uh, to me, I just stopped caring too much about those negative comments because a lot of those people are basically making judgments and making up judgments about me. They think they know me when they don't and my friends and my brother actually get so angry every time they read those comments and I'm just like thankful that I have like people close to me who care so much about me and you know like I think that's why I don't get so sad and emotional every time I read those comments because I have great people around me um, but yeah this book was kind of helpful in that sense because even though I tell myself like oh I shouldn't worry so much about what other people say there are days when it kind of brings me down but you know at the end of the day it doesn't matter and I'm just gonna continue to work hard on what makes me happy and I'm gonna focus on the thumbs ups and the great comments that you guys have been writing. I have two TV shows that I wanted to mention and first is Limitless. I binge watched this on Netflix and I was obsessed. If you didn't watch the movie or the TV show, it's basically a movie about a drug called NCT, NZT and um, this drug basically helps your brain function like in 100% like you will be like the smartest person ever and studying for something or doing something like you'll just be amazing at whatever you do and I am waiting for season two but I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not but definitely a great drama second we have icon TV I like to save those episodes every time I go to the gym um, obviously one time at the elliptical I can finish watching the entire episode um, so the rest of the week I'll watch something else on Netflix but I just really love the boys they're just so charming and you know it's crazy because when you watch them perform on stage they're just so fierce Years, but then on icon TV some of them have a lot of egg yolk and it was just very cute to see so I would recommend it I fell in love with Chuni, Bobby, Tongyeok and actually all of the members Music favorites, I've been obsessed with Kanye West's album as well as Blackpink's, of course. And as always, I'll make sure to link my top six most listened to songs this month at the gym, on the airplane, whatever it is, because you guys seem to really like my music recommendations, so check the description box. And finally, I can't skip out on New York. I had so much fun and it was a pleasure meeting all of you guys at KCON New York. It was 
very unreal. It's just nice to put a face behind those of you guys who comment and like my videos. It was just very encouraging for me. And tomorrow, I'm actually leaving for Jakarta. So we're gonna do Jakarta meetup on Saturday. So I can't wait to meet you guys there. And Eddie and I will try our best to update our Insta stories to share where we are. So if you guys see us, please say hi. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this very long, chatty, monthly favorites um a lot of you guys liked how i was talking a lot in my previous one so i thought i would kind of format it similarly um but yeah i really appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys in my next one bye